And in this video, we're going to continue with activity 5.5, viewing our Active Directory site properties. Uh, so here I am again on server DC1 with Active Directory sites and services open. Uh, here we have our sites and our headquarters site is the one we've been looking at so far. Uh, under servers, we're going to see these servers that are available to us. And I'm going to branch open DC1 and we will see the NTDS settings. I'm going to right click and choose properties. Uh, here we can go ahead and type in a description if we desire. However, we can also uncheck a, if we want this to be a global catalog server or not. Uh, the global catalog server is useful for authenticating users. So we probably in this environment do not want to uncheck it. So I'm going to go ahead and say no. We can also check the connections tab here. Uh, and this shows how replication occurs in our environment. Uh, we can see right now uh, that server DC1 is configured to replicate to server SA1. Uh, it's only a one-way replication because server SA1 is a read-only domain controller. Go ahead and close that down. Uh, then we can come back up here to headquarters and we will see there are more NTDS settings here. So if we right-click and properties, we can see the various properties here. Uh, we can go ahead and change the schedule for the replication inside the site, and we can see that it is currently scheduled for once per hour. Uh, if we wanted to, we can go ahead and change this. Uh, so we could select, for instance, if we wanted it from 6 a.m. Uh, to 5 p.m., we can go ahead and change this to twice per hour or four times per hour. Go ahead and cancel that so I don't break it. Uh, we also have an option here for caching of universal groups. Uh, there's uh, different types of groups. Most users are simply normal groups. Uh, however, there may be times where we want to enable caching of universal groups so that if a global catalog is not available or if the primary domain controller is not available, members of the universal groups will still be able to authenticate. Um, as well as refresh cache from. And I'm going to cancel this. And that is the end of the activity.